never gets easier despite what people think. It's, it's never easy to talk about the subject. Ever. guys and welcome back to my channel it is your girl nikki for those of you who aren't subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below also hit the notification bell beside it so you never miss an upload from me and give this video a nice big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed this video and what other types of videos you guys would like to see as well now as you can tell from the title this video is going to be a serious one for me um, every now and then I like to take a step back away from doing the beauty videos or the vlogs or whatever type of video I'm doing at the time and just take a step back and take a moment to really just do a video about something that I'm extremely passionate about and something that has affected my life personally and is still affecting my life. So as you can tell from the title, this video is going to be talking about mental health, um, depression, anxiety. Um, we're going to discuss this topic because I don't feel like it is discussed enough. Now originally I got up this morning and decided to do like a beauty video or do a clean up with me video because my apartment is such a mess right now, but I decided to just just get on camera in natural form like my hair is this is my natural hair is all twisted up i just put a headband on um a big t-shirt that i've had since middle school no makeup um just some little lip balm on and lipstick that i couldn't get off that stained my lips from yesterday so I, this is me in natural rare form and i feel like this is just who who the freak i want to be right now just me but i will be filming a beauty video later on um but right now i just wanted to sit down and chit chat because this has been a hard week for me and this has become a type of therapy therapy for me just being able to to tell my story and hoping that it inspires others and hoping there are more of you out there that you know can relate to what I'm going through and who can you know just be like Nikki you know I'm get it I get it I get it and I know I'm not alone but sometimes it's just harder to talk to the people that's close to you I feel like I could talk to this camera all day to you guys and tell my story all day long versus talking to the people that are closer to me because the ones that are close to me don't really get the things that I go through they don't get the things that go on in my crazy mind and they don't get you know they just don't really like you know get it just don't really get it and not saying that all people who deal with this have crazy minds no that's just what i say in my head you know because I, I have these like you know crazy unique things that go on in my head and sometimes i feel like when i speak to them it doesn't really make sense so i have to like <laughs> talk to somebody who really gets what's going on in my head but yeah, just to throw that out there because I'm not calling people with, who deal with anxiety or depression crazy because I deal with it. I'm still dealing with it. So <clears throat> yeah, I don't really have any bullet points or anything like that, any type. I just feel like this, this, this discussion doesn't happen enough. And with everything that just goes on in the beauty community and within the drama and all of that, I have heard a few gurus who have said that they do deal with anxiety and that they do deal with depression as well so i feel like this is a topic that should just be discussed more versus all the drama and the oh exposing people i just feel like let's talk about some meaningful stuff let's talk about some real shit like and this is something that's real because there are people who aren't big beauty gurus who aren't the most popular on youtube and they deal with this stuff and i'm dealing with it myself like for example this week was one of the hardest weeks for me my anxiety was, was at an all time high and i 
just felt angry. I felt sad. I know nothing of joy, of happiness, of peace. Just a lot of sad and angry emotions. And I really kind of <laughs> snapped on some folks this week. And I had to go back and just like apologize to some people because everything just kind of was inside and bottled in. And I really had to just try to get it out in a positive outlet, but it didn't come out in a positive way. And for that, I feel horrible about. So I had to go back and say, look, look, I'm, I apologize for the way I said this or the way this happened. I truly apologize for it. This was not my intention. This is not how I meant for it to come out. So sometimes it takes some backtracking and you have to really think like, ugh. Okay, because when you try to explain what you're going through to somebody who can't relate, sometimes it's frustrating because you don't want to always hear, oh, it's going to be all right, and maybe you should do this and you should do that. No, like, you you don't really understand what I'm going through, so you can't tell me to do this and to do that and do it. I, I want you to be a listening ear, a sounding board. And for me, personally, and sometimes people tell me things I don't always like to hear, and I want them to say what I want them to say. And a lot of times I want people to just, you know, say, it's okay to feel those feelings and to feel those emotions. Like, feel everything. You're not crazy. You're not crazy, you know. Just feel everything. And I, I can't, honestly, I can't help you. I don't know what to say. But I'm going to be here to support you for whatever you do. Like, sometimes it's, it's good to hear those things versus, you well, you need to do this. Have you tried this? Have you did this? Have you did that? Da, 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 da. Nobody always wants to hear that. So, those that's some of the struggles and the challenges I deal with with having anxiety and depression. Like, talking to people about it and how I receive the things that they say and how I articulate the things that I feel in my head and just being able to just get them out. It's, it's super hard sometimes because I don't always like, I don't always know how to communicate. I don't always know. So I wrap up in my little bubble and I shut the world out. And if only for a moment, just let me have that moment because I need that moment to really just, just figure out where I'm at, what steps I need to take next, and just figure out how to heal and to get back to where I was. Because no matter how much therapy you go through, no matter, it's you can still sometimes tread backwards a little bit, or sometimes you can still get sucked into that dark place, and you can go back at any moment, even, even through the therapy, even through the exercises, even through all of that, you can still still get sucked back into it it's never something that just goes away completely you learn to deal with it you learn how to get a hold of it and you learn how to not let it consume your life but you can always still fall back into that so that's another reason why I feel like it's just it's always a work it's always a work in progress life is just nothing but work you have to continue to work at things you never it's never gonna be a point of okay well I went through this healing process I'm done I'm it's gone it's forever no it's not you have to work on it daily whether it be a daily mantra whether it be something that you just like to do to get some steam off and get the stress off that's just what you have to do which brings me um to the next point um things that I like to do to deal with the anxiety things that help me to like snap back and come back because I've really been feeling like lately and even when I have moments like this like I feel like I don't know who I am I feel like I have this like experience of being outside of Nikki and just I see myself but I'm just like the person that I just stepped into I don't even know this person like I, I'm trying to get back to Nikki I gotta get back to me and as weird as that may sound to some people, I mean, other people that feel like me, like just sometimes you just don't know who the freak you are and you reacting and you're saying different things. Sometimes you say things you don't mean and sometimes you just, you, you, you sound like a different person. You don't sound like who you are. 
and it happens sometimes you you have that moment where you don't know who you are you don't feel like yourself and you just you want to be understood you want to just be it you want to let that go you want to be able to just feel like I just want to feel like me again you have those moments so I have a couple things that I like to do to really help me especially when I'm dealing with anxiety when I'm going through and I'm feeling everything and I just want things to feel a lot better so I actually um I like to to work out I've been on this this journey to become a healthier me and it's it is a weight loss journey as well but it's also a little bit different for me because the last when I first started my journey of losing weight I did it just to solely lose weight and then I just was like okay everything will be fine after I lose this weight no this time I'm doing it the correct way I'm actually changing my eating I'm changing my views the way I see things I've just really just been like you know doing a whole 360 and really just kind of understanding like okay now I have to do this the right way if I want to get the right results if I want to maintain and keep the weight off I have to do this this way so I've been on this journey to become not only just having a healthier body but have to having a healthier mind having a healthier soul just in all areas so i like to work out working out actually helps me to just get off all that steam all that anger i feel like i'm just throwing it into something positive and that's that's the things i look for i look for things that are positive so i throw everything that i'm feeling into that workout i work hard sometimes i get in there and i'm just like Whew, I start feeling things and it just makes me run harder. Or it just makes me lift more weight. So it makes me just pump up harder. So that's one of the things that I like to do. I like to really just exercise and just go focus on healthier me and centering myself. Another thing that I like to do that I never, ever, 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 ever like to do, but now I enjoy it, is reading. I've been reading this 40-day experience book. And it has helped me a lot. It's helped me to really get back in touch with my spiritual walk with Christ and to really just strengthen my relationship with God and to to strengthen up and build up the parts that I feel have failed with God and just to get closer to him because I feel like he never fails me, but just lo and behold, I always fail him. So I always just try to every now and then open that book and just really just read and it was written by a pastor and he's talking about his experiences with just life and just just different topics topics relationships uh family friends it just everything everything it just talks about just a journey and it's really been helping me to get closer to god and to to want to pray more and to want to you know get that connection a little bit stronger because i do have a religious background and i was born and raised grew up in the church so god was all i knew church was all i knew for a big portion of my life i didn't get exposed to a lot of things until like later on in life when i started hanging out with certain people and being at school you know you high school middle school a lot of and even now kids get exposed even earlier so i was a young kid in the 90s so it's like now this generation is they're getting exposed to things so much earlier not saying that we didn't get exposed all my 90s babies out there but we um we didn't get exposed to half as much as early as these kids are now so i really think that strengthening your spiritual walk will really just you know help it really helps me. I'm not going to say strengthening your spiritual heart will help you, but it's definitely helped me. Because, like I said, I don't want to advise anybody. These are just things that I like to do. Another thing is just fresh air. Getting out, um, whether it be taking a walk outside or just going somewhere with your friends. Spending time with my friends and just being out. And sometimes just going downtown and hanging out or just being out being away from my apartment being out of the house just be it really helps me because i feel like i'm getting the air and i'm able to really just just inhale exhale take that deep breath and just really just 
think about everything and just figure out, okay, I might be going through this now, but later on, it's, I know it's going to get better. It's, it's going to get better. I have to keep telling myself that, you know. But just being out and about, it just really helps me to clear my mind, clear the, just clear everything that's like just been going on. Just, it allows me to release it and just, whew, just, just get away from it. Just to, it just, it's, ah, I just enjoy fresh air. I'm thinking about it now. Just, just being outside, just being away really helps me as well. And last but not least, um, I was speaking of daily mantras early on in the video. Just having different quotes and things like really help me or just having something that I kind of say to myself like, okay, I'm, I'm going through this for a reason. I'm going through this to get through. I'm going through this to be a testament to somebody else who's going through, who doesn't quite know what to do. And hopefully one day I can inspire or touch or reach out to one person and say, I've gone through this. You can get through it too. You just have to figure out what works for you. I can't tell you what's going to work for you, but I can tell you what works for me and then show you how to figure it out. Just kind of get into that place. Sometimes you have to get alone, get in that place, center yourself and figure out, okay, this is what's going to help me. This is what's worked for me. So let me, let me try this. And it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of trying things. They not working. Trying something else. It not working. Trying this thing. And it actually works. So let me find something else to add along with this. It's a lot of that. So I'm coming up on 16 minutes right now. So I don't want this video to be super duper long and sound super duper preachy. And, you know, but I just felt like just really just sharing that with you guys especially because this was like a hard week for me and i just really wanted to just get that out and this is just feels like a you know an outlet for me just talking about it and just sharing my story with somebody else and hoping and praying that it helps them so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and stop here let me know if you guys actually enjoy these videos i love to do more um in debt and just kind of go into into detail um, about certain things if you guys do like these types of videos but um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and as i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the thumbs up button leave a comment down below and as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye